Welcome to Demonstration 1, Room Manager 2013 for SharePoint. Room Manager 2013 has been completely redesigned. We can use it now not only for meeting rooms. We can use it as well for any resources, such as cars or equipment, catering, and workspaces. Additional categories, custom categories can be added and categories can be hidden in the Web Part Properties setting. After you've installed your Room Manager solution, which comes as a sandbox solution or a SharePoint form solution, you can easily modify the site contents. You normally start by creating new sites by clicking New Item, add your site, then go to your locations. Click Add New Location associated with your predefined sites. After that, you start to use your category. Therefore, as I mentioned before, it's not only for meeting rooms as it is also for any kind of category, such as cars or equipment. We start with our meeting room. In the meeting rooms list, we see that I've already uploaded some meeting rooms. When the meeting rooms are uploaded, we can start to edit them. It's very easy, very straightforward. You give a room title, you give additional description, you add your enterprise keywords, the capacity of the room, and the room rent associated with the location. Feel free to add custom fields if necessary. One new and very powerful feature is the enterprise keywords. Enterprise keywords are available on SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2013. Enterprise keywords is a word or phrase that's added to items on the SharePoint site. You can typically, usually, generally, add any word to an item as keyword for tagging. Enterprise keywords are a good way to classify a web page search or filter down your content. Once you've classified your content and your categories, the user is now able to book on the go the new resource. He selects a site. He selects the location and narrows down by filtering through the tags which have been defined by the enterprise keywords. Additional floor plans can be added and the room can be booked. You're done.